Okay, uh, so thank you for coming back, and um, yeah, we're saving the uh, the best to the end. Um, I just wanted to say something uh, really interesting because uh, some of us on this panel, as well as myself, come from a you know somewhat theoretical community, and uh, we we for many years worked on very theoretical problems, and there will be sessions within our conferences that will have the title "Theory to Applications," you know. And as we were defining the, the workshop for IDSS, we thought that the proper direction should be applications to theory. So we hope that the, the panel will address that exact question. The moderator for the panel is Professor Caroline Uller, who is a faculty of IDSS and EECS. Thank you very much, Mansur. OK. So welcome to this last session um, of this IDSS Lounge Symposium. So it's my honor to moderate this session on um, From Application to Theory. Um, and as Munzer said, so I'm a faculty member in EECS here at MIT and also part of IDSS and particular part of the statistics group here in IDSS. Um, so just to start the discussion, um, let me just start it off with just a couple of words um, to ease into the discussion. So um, in the previous sessions, uh, we've seen many different um, examples of how you know, big data has led to critical progress in many different application domains. Um, we've seen, uh, for example, in you know, genetics and precision medicine, or um, in internet and you know, search engines, um, or in finance. And in all of this, I think you know, statistics, together with computer science, electrical engineering, um, have and mathematics have played like a pivotal role in building a you know fundamental or theoretical backbone in order to go from big data um, to its abstraction and then to develop methods to analyze this data and to get conclusions from this data. And what we've also seen in all these um, different sessions is you know a list of the many different challenges that we have to address in um, the coming years in the different application domains. Um, but I think while you know, there are many domain-specific challenges, there are also many challenges which are common to many different application domains. And the goal of this session is to identify some of these and you know, maybe even to make some um, progress in some of these. And so think of like just some examples. I mean, we've heard about privacy and the important role of privacy for all of us in coming years. And this is definitely going to be one of the bottlenecks um, in the next phase. It is critical to be, or to be able to you know, develop methods which you know, can analyze data and at the same time ensure someone's privacy. Um, other applications, I mean, we've heard in, for example, when we were talking about polls and voting, but also in finance, you know, data is streaming in and you know, decisions cannot wait for you know, a month or so, but decisions have to be taken in real time. And so it is critical that we think of methods where you know, computation is actually part of data analysis so that you know, we can take these decisions fast. Um, and then maybe another thing is like we now have been thinking about personalized medicine, right? So there it will be a really big challenge um, to develop methods where we can do predictions um, uh, for you know, predicting the effects of yet unseen interventions in very, very large and complex systems. And so I hope that in this panel, you know, we will be able to link some of these applications which we've heard um, to some of these overarching um, general or fundamental questions that we need to solve in order to go from big data to you know, societal benefits. So for this, we have an outstanding group of panelists here um, from who will um, hear. They're all fi key figures in going from application to theory. Um, and instead of mentioning their many honors, I'm just going to say how they have you know, led in the endeavors of actually going um, from theory or from application to theory and not from theory to application. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> the first panelist here is Alan Tannenbaum um, from the Departments of Computer Science and Applied Mathematics from Stony Brook University. Um, his research really spans the whole range of from um, medical data analysis or image analysis to computer vision all the way to algebraic geometry and differential geometry. So really from application all the way to theory. Then our next um, panelist is Professor Elkanon Mossel, who just joined MIT. 
Um, he wears many different hats. He works on um, problems with a combinatorial flavor in statistics, probability theory, algorithms, mainly problems um, related to networks and related to processes on networks. Then our third speaker is Professor David Tse from the Department of Electrical Engineering at Stanford University. Um, he's an expert in information theory and has worked on many, many different kinds of applications, um, from wireless communication all the way to computational biology, and I think that's also what he's going to be presenting today. And finally, our last speaker, our panelist, is Professor Vincent Blondel, who is currently the president of the Université Catholique de Louvain in Belgium. Um, and his research has provided methods um, for determining important structures in very large networks, a really recurrent theme in many applications or many different and important applications. 